once I did this painting, I liked the painting, then I decided I would make it as a multiple or as a serigraph. But it, 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 to me, it, it was daunting because I thought, well, how do I get 5,000 people into a, a picture? And, I, and then what is the miracle? And I, I think, of well, the, the miracle may be all the people were there and then they all helped and shared whatever they, little they had. And it was abundant when people started to share. And I try to put it in a terms of, of, of today and all the people that are, that are from very poor countries or that aren't as developed as, as uh, ours is industrially, but that they, how they weave and sew, they wear their, their beauty on themselves. And, and that's what I try to do in this image. I try to make it as a, their clothing is beautiful and elaborate with little miniatures on their clothing. And I was inspired by the whole idea of bread and, and how, how important it is uh, today and how people are able to survive and that our need to be aware of, of sharing. In 1986, I did a painting. It was quite different, uh, the grasses, the way everything was defined. From this, from, this is just a facsimile of our poster that was printed of it. Then I, I got a drawing from that. I, 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 got, I got a drawing that would become my map to print all the colors. But, but even though I, it, was a, it was a photographic um, black and white, because it was so complex, so I decided to do it that way. But then I had to do a lot of work to create that map. I, and I converted it to film And on that film, I had to do a lot of scraping and cleaning up uh, areas so that it wouldn't be all filled in with black ink. So this became a very heavy printing of, um, of the image. But, but based on this, I, I developed all my colors on top of, this is only one, I think we divided it into three sections because it was such a big, uh, big uh, work. Here are some of the, uh, the color breakdowns. This was a, a flesh tone that went on top of the, the figures. Here is a, this is towards the end, this is a transparent yellow that's enriching all the colors that are underneath it. Here's a, a color 33, it's a transparent pink. But you can see how I, I'm using that color to enhance, enrich, and, and define things. It's on their faces. So their faces have many dots of different colors uh, to, to make them more interesting. This would be about color 28. And these marks here on either end, those are called registration marks, and so when I put my mylar sheet, I have to align it to these registration marks. And um, sometimes, and as we, as we, when I'm drawing, I, had, I would have to move it a little slightly to compensate for the stretch of the printing. But you can see how I've gotten up to this stage. You can see the, uh, the reticulation of each of the grasses and the depths of, of them. This would be up with 48 colors. And you can see how I've exp the expanse and all the small figures. You can see all the five, the five thousand, which is strange because they say five thousand, not including women or children. So they counted the men, but not the women. <laughs> but so you can see how things still aren't finished yet. There's still things that are still needing to be resolved. But you, but look at how how. Uh, much depth there is in all these grasses. So it's like wherever you look, you can find interesting areas of, of uh, colors and shapes. And then as I showed you on this, you can see how this transparent color went over many things to develop them and give them even on their faces to give them a more, um, a, a more of a depth of, of a, like an icon. 
These these are colors that were in the that I did 32 and 33. This manganese transparent and a pink that's a transparent. You can see how this uh, how I'm keep bringing colors in so that you're not looking at one color. You're looking at many layers of blues. You're not looking at one green. You're looking at many kinds of greens because the transparent colors keep embellishing and giving them strength. So uh, let's see, this would have been about 30, this would have been about 20, uh, 25 colors. So you can see how um, you slowly work and you don't know how it's going to look. It may get finished and it may not, but you just have to trust your abilities. Here's where I'm testing color. I was testing um, the color t in order to see what was going to happen on, on the transparent color. Okay. Here's uh, color 21. It's a, a, a turquoise blue. Uh, and so it, it's underneath where the greens are and it's making the greens more beautiful and more deep. But you see how intricate, like trying to figure out where you're going to put this color. How do you decide if you're going to put it on their faces, on certain areas to darken them? So there's a lot of decision making, which makes it an interesting uh, time. So this would be about with like 15 to 16 colors. You can see how. Uh, you know, how crude and how it begins and how it slowly Im Im develops into something more finished. This is about uh, color 47, 48. But again, um, more layering of color, more deepening of color. Now this is the finished work, the finished serigraph at 54 colors. And uh, one asked, why would you do a serigraph? Why don't you just do a, a painting? Well, in the painting that I did, um, it was like um, 14 years earlier. Uh, it, I, it was like taking that painting and making changes, adding to it, developing it, and bringing it more to the person that I am at that time that I'm printing it. But the other thing is that I could spend six, seven months working on this addition uh, of printing, and at the end I'm able to have more people enjoy it than if I spent a long time on a painting. And I feel that uh, it's part of what I do. It's my main work is doing silk screens, and I feel more comfortable that I can offer them to more people, and they're and it's my best work, and uh, and I'm able to make my living from that that uh, procedure than to just do paintings. But if you look at um, the like the details here on this particular person. Everything is finished. They're like small little paintings. And, the, and if you look at um, this dress here, you can see many layers of colors to, to create the beautiful patterns. And, and see, I look at this as a, as, a, a to, as a tribute to all the people that sew and weave. All these centuries people have created clothing and also the many cultures that have beautiful um, cloths that they wear. Mexico, uh, Africa, and in India. And for all the craftspeople. And the, and the great miracle of sharing bread.